I actually moved to New York City in 1978 to make it as an actor. For the next 29 years, I worked as a waiter. That's a lot longer than is considered understandable. I always worked in a very casual restaurant, which suited me. I could never work upscale or uh, fine dining, where well, you have to be with it. You have to know things. I know two things about wine. We have it or we don't. I, I, I had a customer once said to me, what's the difference between the Cabernet and the Cote du Rhone? I said, a dollar. <laughs> know what it's like to wait on 40 people? First of all, you're afraid to ask if somebody needs something. Be because somebody does. I mean, literally after a while, this is how I'm walking up to the table. Is everything all right? Good. I walked by the table once, a guy yelled out, waiter. I wasn't in the mood. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. Sir, when I walk by, you just yell out, waiter, okay? Watch this. Waiter. Customer. <laughs> I was at work one day. Guy walks in, starts doing this, flagging me down. As he's being led to the table. I walked over, he says to me, I'm in a hurry. I said, so go. <laughs> I was waiting on a man and a woman. He ordered. Then it was her turn. Uh. Uh, everything looks so good. And you say you're out of the swordfish. Well, I had chicken for lunch. I don't want heavy. This looks good, but I can't have peppers. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. What are you getting? No. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll take... Give me... Let me have between the duck and the lamb. Which would you get? The duck, huh? Not the lamb. Meanwhile, while she's deciding, the guy tries to occupy me. He says to me, so what, what do you do when you're not here? I said, I have other tables. <laughs> you know what it's like when you're not successful and your mother tells you about somebody who is? Did you know that Jack's son just sold his business for $90 million? See, I didn't know that. But I'm glad she told me, because otherwise I wouldn't feel like shit. <laughs> I mean, I hear success stories that are mind-boggling. This one's the top headache doctor in the world. This one's building a home in Florida, 125,000 square feet. Can you imagine what she tells her friends about me? If all goes well, I think Brad is going to buy a bookcase. 
my mother lives in Boca Raton. I'm down there visiting. I'm sitting in the living room watching television. She's in her room reading. This drifted in from the other room. Brad, Jane Bendel's son, Mark, just got a hair transplant. <laughs> she says it looks tremendous. You can't even tell whatever it costs. If it's $2,000, $2,500, I'd be more than happy to pay for it. Now, I would love a full head of hair. You have no idea but I want to grow it. I don't want it appearing out of the blue. I don't think hair is something that should prompt the question, where'd you get it? But, make no mistake about it, I love my mother. But she has been an endless source of material. <laughs> In fact, I told her that. She says to me, what are you going to do when I'm gone? I said, I'm going to sell your house. 